Okay, so I can catch something on Route 36, I can catch something in the Ruins of Elf, and I can catch something in Sprout Tower. I know there's a Zigzagoon in there, and after the dear loss of Raps, may he rest in peace, uh, I could do with another Zigzagoon. But I also kind of want to know what's, what, what else is there. I think you can also catch Gastly's. I think this is something I said last time, like word for word. And I, uh, I, I, it's something I have to do with the, um, I don't remember. Alright, what do we get, boys? Zigzagoon. Now, I might want to, I want to reiterate here, I could skip Zigzagoon because I have technically already caught it and just keep going until I, uh, find something new. And then I either have to catch that or ignore it and not catch something for this area. But I want Zigzagoon. So I'm gonna catch Zigzagoon. Hey! We have another Zigzagoon. We're gonna give a name to the Zigzagoon. It's a male Zigzagoon. Mr. Audience member, do you have any idea as to what, uh... We might name the Zigzagoon. What I might name the Zigzagoon. I've already named two Zigzagoons. They both died. So, so if you have any suggestions, vote below. Cast your vote below. And I'll think of, try to think of something just in case your your uh, suggestion is fucking retarded. Bugsy, Bugsy. I like that name. Let's go with that. Bugsy. It's cute. I like it. Oh, it's a person berry. Yeah, that's right. Even when I'm not, um... I don't play this game while I don't stream because I want to have that, that accountability factor here. Uh, but I probably should get the berries anyway because those are daily. I should probably make sure I get those. Alright. Let's let's see what we get, boys. Oh, hi, Abra. You're not gonna teleport away from me on the first turn, are you? Are you? Oh man, who saw that coming? I should have known. It's either a Teddy Ursa that runs or it's an Abra that teleports. I need to write this down. This is Zigzagoon cute. He's the cutest. I think I've mentioned that a couple times, but I'm gonna mention it again. Which is why I'm always sad when they just die. They're like my pet hamster. You know, you just... You, 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 you buy them and you pet him and you love him and you take care of him for a good few years and then, and then, and then you, you have it, you know, battle somebody else's hamster and then it gets his head fucking bitten off. I'm sure it's a situation we can all relate to. greater purpose in life when I have Zigzagoon. Base is gonna take the wheel for a moment. He's gonna tackle some fools, get to level 11. Everybody's gonna get to level 12, I'm gonna catch something, we start the grind all over again! It's gonna be amazing. That was my best Hoot Hoot impression. Yes, we did it. What do you call a dog that can cast magic? Barcane. That feeling when like one of the two guys watching your stream is more entertaining than you are. 
That was a good one, though. We're about to go to Route 36. We're about to catch ourselves a Pokemon. If I can walk over. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So, I'm going... I, I'm pretty sure that there are... Um trees on the other side like down on the other side of this grass that you can headbutt no i guess you can't headbutt there aren't any headbutting trees these don't count as headbutt oh the little bushes count as headbutt trees okay that's what i i was wondering because i could just warn there was headbutt trees over here okay so on account of the fact that we might find something a little more interesting in the headbutt tree we're gonna headbutt it Am I all healed up? I don't want it to be like... Palkia. Come on! Look at it bug out, the sprite. Oh, it's Sue Waddle. HOLY SHIT! It's level 20! I can't do that! I can't deal with that! No! I'll forfeit! Fine, I'll forfeit my Pokemon for this route! I'm not gonna deal with a level 20 Suwaddle! You wanna know what, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the ruins of Alf, because fuck this. I carve my own path. I am the master of my own fate. Uh, maybe not leading with... Zigzagoon, though. Because just in case they are super strong, I wanna be able to get, uh... Uh, who's the fastest? I think it's base, right? Zigzagoon is the fastest. So, just in case I need to peel, we're gonna have Zigzagoon out. Uh... If I remember correctly, you can find Natus here. So... Welcome to Bad Idea Central, where we- ANOTHER FUCKING ABRA! GREAT! Oh, it's only level 7. But look at this! This is my Pokémon, y'all! As I scream into the mic. You better fucking catch this. One, two, three. No! There it goes! Off into the ether! Okay, so I think I've actually run out of options for areas that of which I can catch Pokemon in. Unless there are headbutt trees on other routes. But I don't know about that. I'll take a look. I would love for there. There are headbutt trees here, but... Oh, wait. It doesn't matter if there are headbutt trees on other routes, because I've already caught Pokemon there. It doesn't matter. It's literally... These are the three Pokemon I'm going to go into that battle with. That battle that wiped me last time. Okay, Zigzagoon. Uh, Noibat. And Eevee. And quite frankly, I don't like my odds. All right. boys we're gonna do any more grinding i said it was gonna be over but it didn't all uh, right we're gonna do some we're gonna get these guys to like level 14 and then we're gonna do it and we're gonna fight that battle and if by fate if by fate's chance if the universe decides that i am not destined to win that battle 
Um, then boom, I guess it's just all over, folks. <gasps> Holy crap, I could have gotten a Larvesta? I could have gotten a Larvesta. I could have walked in the bushes and gotten a Larvesta. Of all things. And instead, I had butted a tree on a level 20 Suwaddle, and I ran away because I wasn't going to be able to catch it without losses. I could have gotten this. This would have been cool. This would have helped my Snover problem too. But nope. I'm a dumbass. Xavier is a what the hell? Oh my god! Xavier's evolving into Sylveon! It... <laughs> it's Mantine. <laughs> oh my god, it's Mantine. It's Sylveon, but it's Mantine. I evolved into Sylveon. How? What are the criteria for evolving into- Look at its sprite, it looks so evil. What is the criteria for evolving into Sylveon? I know it's high- It's not really high friendship, it's- I mean, I, I guess it's what they would have put in. Um... But it's like... Getting affection in the Pokemonomy. But that doesn't exist here. Is it a level thing, maybe? Because, like, full high friendship is the criteria for Espeon and Umbreon. I don't see how they could put high friendship in without, um, uh, interfering with those mechanics. So maybe it's because it reached level 15? Who knows? Alright. It's time to bite the bullet. However, I have three Pokemon all at level 15. And they're all holding Orin Berries now. Okay, I am determined to not lose this fight. Because I will essentially just give up if I do. Okay, I might lose in this tower. But I will certainly not lose to this guy. Again. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Hello, Inuyasha. You make just as much sense about being here as you did last time. Eight. Okay, we can work with this. We can really work with this. Dead. Cool. See, my paranoia is gonna be unfounded when I just stomp these guys. They can <laughs> it, it might have a little bit of something. See, I, I lost this fight like a month and a half ago, so it might be over-exaggerating, but you know... I'm a little, a little, a little paranoid. See, Gust is a contact move, which means that I don't have to worry about Stun Spore. Or, not Stun Spore, Effect Spore. Which is nice. Nice, dude. Okay, I'm gonna have to move. Yeah, see? I see the powder snow coming out. I'm gonna be really tilted if he freezes me, though. It's only a 10% chance. 
I don't know what I was worried about. I certainly overprepared for this fight. <laughs> it's my skill, Yugi. You got outplayed. Okay. Uh, how do we go around? Isn't this tower just a bunch of going up and down? Oh, hi, Pokeball. Oh, oh yeah, this is the guy. Wait, do you fight him? You're indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Keep telling yourself that. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Use an escape rope. Nah, no, I guess you don't fight him. You don't have to fight the Elder, though. I found an escape rope, too. That's cool. Do they just hand those out? They don't have, like, a, a, a staircase that I can go down? No, just, uh, here. We're gonna give you this rope. You can rappel down the side of the tower out that window. This isn't the most dangerous thing you've been allowed to do. They gave you a fire-breathing dinosaur. Don't complain to me. It's a powerful painting of a bell sprout. It's about the only powerful thing about a bell sprout. <sighs> Reveal TM44 from the foe. What the hell? The Zigzagoon is holding a TM! What TM is TM44? It's rest. Why is this Zigzagoon holding rest? Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon- I did my training outside. People and Pokemon test their ponds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. I love my Pokemon. Okay, see? They're nice Pokemon. They're good dogs, Brent. I told you he was going to lead with Shroomish. Whew. Base is becoming like the big hard carry. Trying to learn agility, but base can't learn more than four moves. Delete another move to make room for agility. What move could I delete? I don't get rid of Leech Life. Nobody uses a Leech Life. About to use another Pokemon. Send out Snover. I am GTFO, my dude. Oh my god, I'm frozen. It's only a 10% chance. What the fuck? Why is he using Razor Leaf? This could be bad. This could be really bad. No, get out of freezing. Uh oh. I'm still frozen. Don't do this to me. I'm still frozen. It's only a 10% chance. Don't you dare. Thank you. Thank you, Bugsy. Savior of the realm. Double crit flinch headbutt.
Uh oh. Come on, use that orange berry. Okay, I think I can survive another hit. I'm 90% certain. Because what, I went down to from like 26 to 11? Unless he crits, in which case I'm just dead. If he, okay, yeah, 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 good, 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 good. Good, good, good! I don't need to swap out here. Haunter. Okay. Okay, okay. Come on. Let's do this. Oh, it's hypnosis. Oh, it's hypnosis. Oh. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't take that in this house. Okay, if you're gonna do that under my roof, you're gonna take that somewhere else. Uh, here's the thing, if base dies, I lose. Um, you have a berry, right? I'm- uh-oh. See, this is problematic, because base is the only move that I can affect this thing with. Which means- oh no, I'm fucked. Oh boy! Why doesn't it affect me? Oh, that was just it's missing. I'm upset, and I actually don't know what I'm gonna do. Because I lost the only Pokemon that could actually affect me. Affect him. I'm making an executive decision. That executive decision is that the only way I could possibly win this fight. Um, assuming that his only damaging move is Nightshade, or in some other ghost type move is if he wastes all of his moves on me and then struggles to kill himself on my Zigzagoon. However, with the health that Bugsy is at, he will not survive. And Sylveon probably won't survive either. Therefore, my executive decision is that I am overruling an interest of not losing and ending right again. I shall revoke the rule about using items in battle. That is assuming that he doesn't fucking... I can't use Oran berries on them. It doesn't seem to matter though, because I only have like one pair of potion. I do have one potion. Because I didn't, don't usually care about... Hmm, this is great. Okay. See, I made a lot big speech about this executive decision. It's probably not even gonna work. This is gonna be the most intense battle for the next... 40 turns. Try to be best, cause you're only a man. And a man's got to learn to take it. Try to believe, though the going gets rough, that you got a hand tough to make it. Try and you succeed Never doubt that you're the one And you can have your dream You're the best around Nothing's gonna ever keep you down Bugsy! Bugsy, no! Bugsy, you were a hero A hero that might have only delayed the inevitable Come to think of it Oh wait, but now I can be affected by go night, night nightshade, so it doesn't matter. All this is for naught. I'm dead. It was a good run, boys.
I quit. I'm out of here. I'm done. See you later, suckers. Thank <laughs> you.